Number 5. Cancellation property with respect to addition. What is the cancellation property with respect to addition? According to the cancellation property with respect to addition, if x, comma, y, and z belong to real numbers where z is not equal to 0, then x plus z equals to y plus z, which implies that x equals to y. Similarly, z plus x equals to z plus y, which implies that x equals to y. It's very much clear from its name cancellation, cancellation property with respect to addition, which means that we are dealing with something cancellation. So cancellation property with respect to addition, with respect to addition. If x, comma, y, and z belong to real numbers where z is not equal to zero, if such is the situation where z is not equal to zero, then x plus z equals to y plus z, which implies that x equals to y. How? We have cancelled these two z, because we have z here and z here. When you pick the z and put it there on the left side, from positive z, it will be negative z. So we're going to have positive z, negative z. Positive z, negative z cancels each other. We were left only with the x on the left side and y on the right side. Therefore, we have x equals to y. Similarly, if you change the place of z and x, if you put z first and then x, here z first and then y, so z plus x equals to z plus y. z is common here. z exists on the left side and also here on the right side. So when you bring this z to the left side, it becomes negative z. So z minus z will be zero. Therefore, z cancels with the z. Therefore, we won't have z anymore. We will have only x on the left side and y on the right side, which implies that x equals to y. That's what cancellation property with respect to addition tells us. Cancellation property, we cancel z on both sides. With respect to addition, we have addition here, addition here, and addition here. But let me prove it mathematically that the left side equals to the right side. To prove it mathematically, I'm going to take one example. For example, if I have 1, 2, and 3 belong to real numbers where z is not equal to 0, then 1 plus 3 equals to 2 plus 3, which implies that 1 equals to 2. Similarly, 3 plus 1 equals to 3 plus 2, which implies that 1 equals to 2. Look, I just plugged random values for the x, y, and z. For the x, I put 1. For the y, I put 2. For the z, I put 3. All these three numbers, 1, 2, 3, belong to real numbers. They are real numbers. Where z is not equal to 0. z is 3. 3 is not equal to 0. It is very clear. If z is not equal to 0, then x plus z equals to y plus z. x is 1. z is 3 here. y is 2 z is 3 here. So we have 3 here on the left side and 3 here on the right side. When we pick this 3 and put it there on the left side, it becomes negative 3. So positive 3, negative 3 becomes 0. We were left only with a 1 on the left side and 2 on the right side. Therefore, we have 1 equals to 2. Here, z is 3 and x is 1. z is 3, y is 2. 3 plus 1 equals to 3 plus 2. I just changed the place of 1 and 3. For the 1 I put 3, for the 3 I put 1. Similarly, for the 2 I put 3, for the 3 I put 2. I have 3 here on the left side and 3 here on the right side. When I pick this 3 and bring it here to the left side, it becomes negative 3. 3 minus 3 equals to 0, so I will have 0. 0 plus 1 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. So I will left only with the 1 on the left side and 2 on the right side. Therefore, 1 equals to 2. So here we got the mathematical proof. We have cancelled 3 here and 3 here, which is the value of z. So it is the cancellation property with respect to addition.